Now we are on the verge of the first coronavirus vaccine approved for use in the United States. Here in Wisconsin, health officials worry people are jumping the gun, letting their guard down and going untested when they could be infected. Ben Jordan now with that warning. Wisconsin health leaders say the state is equipped to test far more people than the amount who have been showing up to testing sites like this one at Miller Park. In fact, over the past two weeks, about 10,000 fewer Wisconsinites have been getting tested each day compared to the weeks prior. A significant decrease in the number of people getting tested in Wisconsin has Milwaukee County and state health officials both concerned and puzzled. We're all sort of scratching our heads about it, uh, considering the high level of, of new daily cases that we continue uh, to see, right? Often that um, that motivates people to get tested. State Health Secretary designee Andrea Palm says she expected to see a drop off in testing during the Thanksgiving week, but it's continued since. On average, over the past two weeks, fewer than 30,000 Wisconsinites have been tested each day, compared to more than 41,000 per day the previous two weeks during the state's surge in cases. Meanwhile, Wisconsin's positivity rate remains above 30 percent. If we don't test enough people, we will not find the cases that are out there. Uh, and this is shown in that increase uh, that we're seeing in the percent positivity. The same trend can be found in Milwaukee County's testing numbers. Last week, 21,000 people were tested, a sharp decline from the weeks prior that averaged between 31,000 and 35,000 tests. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett warns people not to ease up on testing with news of vaccines heading to the state. And I think Understandably, we all want to be filled with hope and optimism that with a vaccine here that we're basically out of the woods. Um, but it's going to be these last few months that probably will be the hardest ones. Wisconsin's health department says a few other states are seeing a similar decline in testing. However, they say many more states are experiencing a significant increase since the week of Thanksgiving. Reporting at Miller Park, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.